Ode to the West Wind, P.B. Shelley. There is writing in the margin on the last two segments, swift and crowd equals Shelley. It says to memorize, deep is welling, impetuous is impulse. And there are notes from the back of the book, Maynard, frenzied nymph, attendant on Dionysus in the Greek mythology. Plants underwater sympathize with the seasons of the land, and hence with the winds which affect them. Ode to the West Wind O wild west wind, thou breath of autumn's being, thou from whose unseen presence the leaves dead are driven, like ghosts from an enchanter fleeing, yellow and black and pale and hectic red, pestilence-stricken multitudes, O thou who charietest to their dark wintry bed the winged seeds, where they lie cold and low, each like a corpse within its grave, until thine azure sister of the spring shall blow her clarion o'er the dreaming earth, and fill, driving sweet buds like flocks to feed in air, with living hues and odors plain and hill, wild spirit, which art moving everywhere, destroyer and preserver, hear, O oh hear. Thou on whose stream, mid the steep sky's commotion, loose clouds like earth's decaying leaves are shed, shook from the tangled boughs of heaven and ocean, angels of rain and lightning, there are spread on the blue surface of thine airy surge, like the bright hair uplifted from the head of some fierce maned, even from the dim verge of the horizon to the zenith's height, the locks of the approaching storm, thou dirge of the dying year, to which this closing night will be the dome of a vast sepulchre, vaulted with all thy congregated might, of vapors, from whose solid atmosphere black rain and fire and hail will burst, O oh, here, Thou who didst waken from his summer dreams, the blue Mediterranean, where he lay, lulled by the coil of his crystalline streams, beside a pumice isle in Bay's Bay, and saw in sleep old palaces and towers quivering within the waves' intenser day, all overgrown with azure moss and flowers, so sweet the sense faints picturing them, thou for whose path the Atlantic level powers cleave themselves into chasms, while far below the sea blooms and the oozy woods which wear the sapless foliage of the ocean know thy voice, and suddenly grow grey with fear, and tremble and despoil themselves, O oh, here. If I were a dead leaf thou mightest bear, if I were a swift cloud to fly with thee, a wave to pant beneath thy power and share the impulse of thy strength, only less free than thou, O oh, uncontrollable, if even I were as in my boyhood, and could be the comrade of thy wanderings over heaven, as then, when to outstrip thy sky speed, skyy speed, scarce seemed a vision, I would ne'er have striven, as thus with thee in prayer in my sore need. O oh, lift me as a wave, a leaf, a cloud, I fall upon the thorns of life, I bleed. A heavy weight of hours has chained and bowed, one too like thee, tameless and swift and proud. Make me thy lyre, even as the forest is, what if my leaves are falling like its own? The tumult of thy mighty harmonies will take from both a deep autumnal tone, sweet though in sadness. Be thou spirit, fierce, my spirit, be thou me, impetuous one. Drive my dead thoughts over the universe like withered leaves to quicken a new birth, and by the incantation of this verse, scatter as from an unextinguished heart ashes and sparks, my words among mankind, be through my lips to unawakened earth, the trumpet of a prophecy, O wind, if winter comes, can spring be far behind.